Musical game of Moonstone. Uh, today, along with me, playing um, on my side, I'm playing Dominion. We have a very dear friend of mine, Kevin from USA, Texas. Good evening to you, Kev, or afternoon, I guess, in your case. Afternoon, evening, whatever it might be, and a big howdy from Texas. <laughs> and <laughs> so we have uh, um, the bit a sort of a practical game having the chance to test out his gnome list for the upcoming event that is gonna run this uh, mm, Sunday? Saturday? Saturday. Coming right? Saturday. It's our Trick or Tea Cakes event. It's the first actual tournament we've had here in Texas for Moonstone so we're really looking forward to it. So anybody that is in the area and might be interested in it, feel free to ping him or uh, yeah, just look for the Moonstone Texas players, I guess, uh, Facebook group. And from thereafter, yeah, uh, it will be just uh, sorted, done and dust and get along and enjoy the game. Um, we are uh, ready to roll off for the initiative and from thereafter we will proceed with the deployment and uh, a nice and easy game chatting away how to play gnomes. Okay, rolling a six myself. You roll a six yourself. Rolling again, I roll a three and you roll a two. So I win and I will let you choose the side that will stick with initiative. Oh, you're so nice after our discussion yes, about the side that I really need to be on <laughs> for the known list. <laughs> well, given that, I'm going to um, put my little short-legged gnomes over on this side over here so um okay i will help you out dragging all your stuff along moving one thank you i am old and inept so i da, appreciate the hand da, 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 da. <laughs> don't ever try to say something like that because we both know it's not true and all so right. on my side instead i will go there as you choose the side you have to be the one putting down your first model and on my side i will have to do the same all my stones are far far away two three four five so i think for me it's just a matter of coming up the board at this point Ooh. one two three four five exactly okay and where i want to go three four five here this is gonna be my boulder
uh, yeah, over to you. In the meantime, let's give a bit of color to those guys. Just because we can. Okay, birds appear, ready to go. And so does my Duchess. And over to you. Let me check real quick. This I uh, just want to make sure on the string here. We've got uh, rock. Um, the the thing in your hand over. That's just uh, grass. This is so just nothing... texture. Texture to make okay, uh, the, that's fine. Uh, the the table a bit more uh, lovely rather than a flat uh, image. If it makes sense. Yep. And it used to be that you had a way where you clicked on this. There was a like highlighted yellow. Does um... uh, with the right hand button. Ah, you have to right click. Okay, I got it. Uh, uh, the, the sh and... Yeah, mostly whatever is uh, vegetation, you can ignore it. Uh, concentrate on the big stuff like this one that is an obstacle. Obviously, is, is an obstacle if you go that way. You cannot decide to declare a traverse action that way because it's uh, impossible even only following the rules. And that was my Gwendolyn over here, and that's my Shabaroon over there. I went ahead one model, I guess. Yeah, I should pay attention to who you've got over there. Let's see. You've got Boulder, yep. Duchess, Gwendolyn. Oh, no. And Sha oh, Shabaroon. Yeah. I have a I have a particular fondness and dislike for Shabaroon, depending on which side of the table I am with him. Yes, um, tell me about it. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> and let's see here. Um, hmm. And this one is going to be... And it's over to you because, yes, I already put down all my models, but you are pretty cool either way. Actually, what can I do? All right. Squeeze them a bit on this side. Okay. I'm going to remove the grid as it's not needed any longer. And uh, you can feel free to kick off, Kev. Let's go ahead and show me what you got. All right, um, let's see here. So, um... as I say, feel free, uh, if we want to discuss the gnome list, feel free to go ahead with that. I don't have a problem with it, as mostly the game is for you to get used to those guys. Sure. I'll, um... I'm going to just kick off with Loki. Um... Okay, the idea for Loki is that he needs to be within Grado. We'll run him forward to the jog. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's possibly. see. Oh, thank you for that. I was like, I need to actually put wounds and energy out there. So thank you. All right. And. Pleasure. Ah, if I'd been smart, I'd have done that opposite. Um, but. Um, I should have done the first ability first. Uh, that's that's, well, that's the learning of doing it. All right. Um, you should can, have run, you know. You can no, it's fine. back. It's fine. No, it's fine. The thing is, was that really with Loki, because of his ability um, to use his one with the wind, I should have used that first and then jog, because that way I would have had the bonus from Mama Gimbal, because we, now I'm probably out of the four we inches. We can consider the... Okay, so you still are in the four. Oh, she's Mama. still within four. Yes. Never mind. It was perfectly planned that way. There we go. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we have Loki. We're going to go ahead and try the um, um, one with the wind. Mm -hmm. and it's, we're going to spend two energy. And Who's your target? Um, himself. Okay, fair enough. Yep. And I will grab four. Uh, you go with uh, your three by default plus one for Mama, totally. I will go with six myself, and you're looking for any blue. All right. Um... Now, the choice is bluffing or not. I'm also within distance of... Um... Gradok. Gradok, so that's nice. All right. I will then say I am. Why am I not able to grab and drag this out? You must have changed something here. Oh, there it goes. 
It's actually my my uh, lack of skills. I, I'm declaring a blue three, so I can run all the way over and hit you in the back line. Yeah, sure. Go for it. <laughs> I don't mind. All right. And... Uh, simply click this button here. It's gonna... Oh, that's very nice. Very nice addition, uh, Paolo. That's great. Okay, so he can move Four up inches. to five inches, I believe. Four inches, Four I'm sorry. Inches. Five gnomish inches, but yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, poor oh, guy. All right, there we go. Yeah. And he's going to spend his last energy to step forward the stone. You know what? I, I, I no, I, 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 I'm, I should do that, but I, well, I should not actually do that. I'm going to stay where I am, save that energy just in case I have to duck or do something. All right. I'm going to hang on to it. And look, he's activated. It's over to you. Over to me. Over to me. I will... Oh, this is too far already. Okay. Uh, let's see. How far away? 10 inches. Creep will activate. It's gonna jog 2. And 2-4 over here. Any reaction? Let's see. I'm just looking at your abilities. So you have Vitality Jar, where you can suck energy, and mm -hmm. the other is you have the Incubus, where you can take um wounds away oh and you moved and what was your distance to me um did you move within the eight uh at the moment the distance is 6.8 so even if i move there is seven. yeah um, even if you move there is uh, not much of a chance for you to i won't get out of your range but you know what let's see um and it is you're doing it on a pink and what i could do is spend one energy and move back and get a little cover, uh, right? That is going to be two inches. You have to move uh, uh, one inch less, actually. So this is one eight, one six, zero five, zero. Hold on, let me put him back to where oh, he's yeah, at. Yeah. Is he back? All right. And so I was moving one. Oh, wow. It's uh, possibly because he's getting too close. Oh, to it's the road. going up. That's what it is. Okay. Um, sorry. He, he's actually here back there. Okay. okay. And moving, let's see, this distance. Uh, he should be able to move one inch and probably get a little uh, line of sight. Um, yeah, I mean, if you this is the end of your base, yeah, that's one. Yeah, and, and so now we can squeeze it through a bit closer to the stone if you want to. Yeah, like that's that. actually the whole point was to have Ooh. a. Uh, let me yeah, help perfect. You out. <laughs> <laughs> Floating in mid there. <laughs> perfect. And, uh, so we'll spend that one yeah. energy, and I'll let you reset that while I uh, uh, burn his energy. Uh, that way, I'm still within range, but at least I have a little bit of cover. Mm -mm. At which point, what I want to do is going to be... I will target you and declare him victimize. Uh, that will give you a plus 2 of 8. All right. Just because uh, it could be something rather than not. I'm going to use this yeah. uh, token here, just to remember that is triggered twice, and I will rest on my last energy. Over to you. All right. I feel much larger now. All right. That's great. <laughs> um, hmm. So the idea with the gnomes is that they have to be together. Let's see if we can help them out and surely Boris will activate Boris. Oh, why not? Here he comes. Um, Yep, so Boris, um, oh no, I have the weird glitchy thing where I'm seeing a, a, like a number and a zero, but it looks, I mean, so he should have four, but I see. Yes, I can see the okay. number properly. Let me see if I can help you out. Okay, try like that. Uh, this one. I'm gonna this go ahead one. and right click it twice. And then three times. Oh yeah, or I can try and give you the old version of the Piattellone where you don't have the call, but we can easily... That's okay. I've had that issue before. No worries. Um, I'll just have to confer with you. Um, did it actually change the... No, nope, it did... didn't. It's okay. still on a 4. But, yeah. Either way, uh, let me... Oh, because this one doesn't have all the stuff here. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a never-ending story. We can 
easily swap over this one where I'm pretty sure you can see all your cards and such. If okay. Anything. Um, that sounds good. I'll go ahead and, um, do that. So I should be drawing, uh, four cards. Yep. And looking for any two of the sort. Right. And I have a green two. Uh, gonna be there in a sec. Just finishing to dealing your energy around and trying to move those over here like that this one comes with me happens okay this one oh ho, ho. this one have to come <laughs> as well see but before doing any further mess i was lock them together yeah oh no now they are locked i don't get it then okay uh unlock and move. Oh, Can you grab them all at once? I'm trying to. Oh, yeah, but there you go. No. Oh. Huh. That's. I wonder if I can get them all. I got them all there. Ah, oh, cannot. Oh. No, they don't want to move all together. I will simply do that then. Uh, all right, you start on the right end. I'll start or on the left. That's fine, and I'll start on the right. Um. Oh, it won't actually let me pick them up. Never ending stories, ladies and gentlemen. No. You're. I don't. Okay. For some reason, I think they're locked or something where I can't pick it up. I can. I can't even right. Well, it, yeah, it let me right click, but only to make the health go down. Yeah. I see your symptoms. Well, let me pick them up. Let's see, he's uh, eight. Um, yeah, so something like that. And one, there oh, we go. Come on, really? Enough of it. Okay, so. Perfect. Of the sort, because yes, it's a bit of a mess, but it's still doable. So it's you, workable. Pick up, you pick up a green too. I'm gonna say totally fine with that because all that I saw it was blue and pink in my hand. All right. So murder bunny number one comes out again. Um, let's take a moving quickly. I should have done that first, but that's okay. All right. So we're gonna move this uh, bunny. Four inches up. Four inches up. And I will go ahead and um, I'm going to jog Boris toward the other stone. Okay. To the stone. He's going to spend one, I'm actually moving just a hair there. Um, so we don't have to call him there. Okay. So um, I'm going to spend the last energy to harvest that down to a two. Okay. Yeah. And here we are. And so it is over to me now. What to do? Boulder activates. Jog up four over there. Any reaction? Uh, spending one, declaring stone song on the stone in front of him, picking up uh, three cards, looking for any blue. Stone song is, is an ability that trigger within six inches, is not modified by cover, and uh, help uh, Boulder decrease the value of a stone by X, where X is obviously the value on the card, down to a minimum of one. In this case, I will declare a blue one. I'll allow it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that means the three goes down to a two. Any reaction? I have to ask. No. Okay. Then I uh, will try my luck with this stone over there with my last energy. Uh, picking up three again. Okay. I will declare a blue two.
Oh, lot. Okay. Now this stone is down to a two. And that is going to be it for Boulder. Over to you. All right. Let's see. We'll um, activate Braddock. Mm hmm I have to be careful with that ethereal allure. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, I'm glad that you forget about it and now remember. That indeed is the plan. Hopefully. Okay. Jog up four. No reaction. I'll spend an energy to... Get him base to base. One. Mm -hmm. And... We'll go ahead and spend the two remaining energy to take that down. Uh, the two. remaining energy is one only because it does have. Uh, you did a jog. I did a step. Yep. Never mind. One energy. Yep. There we go. Let you do so. He was he was trying to bluff you because he's Gratic, and then uh, but <laughs> he knew he knew there was no downside to bluffing, so yeah, totally. he tried. <laughs> I, I, and I still bless you and then turned it to a two. So let me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well done, Gradok. You play well. You know, in my mind, I really want to do that. So uh, let you it be. It Over to you. <laughs> and let's see. So we've got. Oh, yeah, actually, Gradok. Oh, I need to turn off the, the red light for Boris. There we go. Cool, cool. And it's going to be over to me. Uh, yes. We'll activate uh, Gwendoline. Jogging four over there. Any reaction? No. Uh, at this point, if I want to target Loki, I think I can easily drag along. I think you're right. Um... Or it seems to me, at least. Yeah. I won't. I won't. I won't disagree. Okay. So I will go. I will declare a terror allure, as you mentioned moments ago. And I will go with seven cards. Five by default, plus two of your incremented evade. I am feeling very large, so yeah, there you go. And I have to put I have to show you the card I have in my hand. Because Yes, of you do. Yes, you do. Same reason why I will pass, as I didn't add anything <laughs> in my hand. I had the pink three, pink two. I, yeah, I had a full hand of pink. Yeah, fair enough. And I uh, will uh, rest on my last two energy, and it's over to you. Let's see, just a shabaroon. Oh, I don't like you, shabaroon. Okay. Um, now there is no way I can reach uh, Loki with the Duchess, so the Duchess will have to jog up and do some workout for eight points. Go ahead and activate Joanna. Mm -hmm. It's not looking well for the Dominion so far. Is she clear of um in order to, uh she's gonna be two three and four she will end up uh, over here with the the, mid, uh, the front of her base simply because like that she's uh, going straight over Boris. Yeah, I understand. Base. Yes, I, I'm just, I, I don't have it tilted the right way. Is she clear of his base right now? Yes. If I drop her? Okay, that, yeah, I do, it's basically just going to be just on and, the other side of Boris. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, no problem at all. Yep, and then... out fixing a bit the mess from this evening meanwhile Kev is looking forward to decide what to do with Joanna uh, she might try a pixie alpha elixir at this point we will see in a moment or 
maybe not. Let's see what he decides to do. At the moment, gnomes are getting ahead as they have already. All right, so I'm just trying to see if I have a line of sight here. The chance to um, two stones and a third one easily. I do not think I have line of sight right now on Duchess. And if she's the only one closest to a uh, tree or with a patch, right? Um, I agree with you. You don't have line of sight because Boulder is going to cover her completely. Correct. And, and but she... Base. Yeah, the only tree over here is this one. That's not wooded patch. No. The only wooded patch or tree is that one. Or those ones and... that are close to the bunny. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to fix that shortly, but in the meantime... <laughs> uh, <laughs> see here, then... In order to get her active ability off, let's see, the um, arcade ability... It takes two. She currently has three energy. If she moves one inch, um, yeah. So if she moves, oh, she must be on six, not seven. Seven, eight, eight, eight. one inch. I could have done that with the jug. So if I go one inch this direction over, I'm just trying to see if she moves over, she would have a line of sight. Actually, I think I have to go the other way, don't I? Um, that's fine. So if I move one inch over here, I'm going to just do that to make you see. Mm. And I should now have line of sight. He seems to me. Oh, wait. Like... No, I do. No, because my own person blocks. Oh, wait. No, because no, I'm within no, one. No, 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 no. You yeah, do yeah. have line of sight here. As yeah, you can my, see. I was looking at the bunny, but the, uh, the bunny, the bunny because I'm within you. one inch. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If it was an enemy, then yes, you were right to assume that he's going to block your line of sight. And, but uh, be a friendly model uh, within one inch. There is no problem for Joanna to target the Duchess. That's correct. So she has spent an energy. Would you like to react? And I consider that part as your jog. So I don't. Uh, I don't count it as a. Oh, step. she could. Okay, because she could have finished there as her jog. Sure. All right. Thanks. Then I will add her energy back. Okay. Appreciate that. Um, that's okay. All right. So, oh, all right, so that's where her jog ended instead of over there. So she stayed within line of sight. Uh, get him a jog. Would you like to react? Oh, uh, no. I'm fine like that. All right, and... She's within Just forward. making sure. Okay, um, yep, so we're going to go ahead and just because we want to see how it works... Um, not my cover. She probably does not have an evade. Nope. And spawn shooters rolls. All right. We'll go ahead and do it just for the fun of it. And I have other things I should probably do with her, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and do this, and we're going to do the Revenge of the Forest Friends to target uh, the Duchess. Picking it's not up. modified by cover, and so she's picking up four, four. because of, yep. Yeah. Because of Mama, I go with six myself. And all I got is one. Okay. Um, I think one. Sure. All right. I will suffer one damage. Yep. Uh, and you will suffer one wound yourself for targeting the Duchess. All right. As of uh, foreboding. Yep. So I, show, oh, another show. I have one energy left on her, and one, there we go. And I think I will hang tight on that last energy. You've got the Duchess and Shadow. Okay. Go. Yeah, I'm going to set on her last energy. Okay, out of which Gwendoline is going to step one inch back, hopefully. Let's do it. Where are you going, Gwendoline? I thought you wanted to come over and see Loki. Nah, next time, when he's going to be less fat and more uh, handsome gnome. Not at the moment. Um, Duchess uh, will activate, target Shabaroon, and declaring uh, Sukubusonim. 
picking four and looking for any pink. Uh, Sukubus is an ability that um, um, target another character and make them suffer X wounds. Then for each wound suffered, I can give one wound and one energy back to any friendly model within eight inches, even myself. In that sense, I can target Shabaroon and give him back uh, energy out of his own wounds. Let's have the time to read All it. All right, my friend, what have you got? Uh, I got a pink too. That means... I'm going to say bluff. Okay. But it's not. All right. Show goes through. So, <laughs> Shabaroon will suffer two wounds, then gain back those two wounds, and on top of those, two energy. All right. After which, I'm going to shuffle, as I have a very difficult end, and I'm going to put myself... In harm's way. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you know me. If I can help, always. Four inches over there. And after that, it's over to you. Okay. Um, let's see. You've got Shabaroon left. And so it's Mom the Gimbal. So um, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, would it? No. Um, Lab would actually heal and move. Um, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's see if I move up there. I was on one. Now, the point for the gnomes is to secure the stone they already get on. And Mama is surely a good way to do so. As she can absorb uh, loads she of damage. She gave me the base. Uh, well, friendly gnomes. A little bit further puts me in base contact there. And... Yeah, in touch. I'm going to go ahead and... Um... I'm going to go ahead and spend two energy to harvest that stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. That's okay. All right. And so we'll grab that stone and put it with Mama. It's one energy left and... One energy left at the moment. Yep. And she's going to go ahead and... Um, Declare Mother's Love on Loki. Mm -hmm. So she's going to move two, inch, two inches closer to Loki. Yep. So they're and... pretty much hitting uh, Gradock base. Yep. Just up right there. And then, and then Loki he will is move. move in base to base contact with Gradock himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to worry. Actually, he won't move because he's already stuck, right? Because the uh, I thought he would move, but I think he uh, will hit that thing because uh, he was kind of underneath it. I don't think he can actually go buy it, right? Mm, no, I think he can move simply because he's underneath. And okay. All under right. it, yeah. there is no issue. The only yeah, issue yeah. was above. Yep, no worries then. So, yep, if he can move there, then he will hit Gratic. And... And that was Mama. So, Loki is in base-to-base -base contact where Gradoc... Uh, uh, with the uh, Gradoc, where Mama still have a bit of space. I was sure that the two of them were two inches away, but seems like no. It was 2.1 inches. She was like... Yeah, very close. Yeah. Okay, now Shabaroon doesn't have much to do at this point, does him? Yeah, we like it like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. 
Do some goblin mischief. Um... On myself only. Mm, a bit of a waste. <laughs> so, uh, creep will take a step over there. Out of uh, the last movement. Instead, I'm gonna lose his energy. And uh, it's a waste. Uh, where Gwendoline is gonna take. Uh, okay. One inch and coming back here. Then Shabarun will go. He can do a jog of four. Three and one. Four. Yeah. So Shabarun activates. Uh, with a jog of four, if I can move him outside of this beautiful uh, mm. oh, the one great thing about this list with uh, Gratic, um I have to show you my end. Tabaroon is not as uh, as dangerous. Oh yeah, totally. I just realized that. Because I was going worried about your catastrophes, but I'm not afraid of any catastrophe. I'm a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind of you. And uh, then what can I do next? Uh, I will take two steps in that direction. Uh, I don't know right, if you have any direction left at the moment. Oh, yes, one yeah, with the Joanna. I do. I have Joanna. And I will go ahead and react step with her. Um, I'm still out of your range so far. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't matter, though, because she's within... It must be within Gradic. three of Gradoc, not four. In order oh, to... I thought it was... The, oh, sorry, okay. the smell of lies two inches and they ignore catastrophe is four. So she's totally fine for uh, ignoring yeah, the catastrophe, yeah, but she thinking. will not see the card. She's just moving forward a little bit there. Okay. And then I'm going to spend three declaring Transcombobulate, picking up seven and looking for a green, no, for a blue or a pink, for a blue or a pink three. And you're targeting yourself, obviously. So I don't have to worry about your Gradoc. And I will declare a blue tree. Um, maybe I'm confused, Paolo. Um, yes, tell me. Blue three will, um, you're already fully healed, right? Uh, yes, but it's going to give me back uh, all my energy and put myself within 8 inches of my current position. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's what you're going for. Yep. Um... Yep. And I'm sorry, you, you were called which three? Uh, a blue three. The first one of the two that you can see on the ability. All right. I'll, um, I'm going to say bluff, not because I don't trust you, but... Because I don't think you have two threes. Um, okay, I will gain back my full energy and I can put myself within 8 inches. That means yes. I can you come put and yourself go right over here. <laughs> Come on in here. Come on in here. <laughs> now the problem is Gradok is blocking me from doing anything useful. Uh, but I can have myself sitting easily on... Or either there. I thought you were going to power into the line so that um, <laughs> we Did could. I? Um, I thought you were going to jump right in the middle of the pack here so we could introduce ourselves. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, but nah. I thought you were the melee king. Come on, show me how to do it with Chaperone. <laughs> ah, I'll show you later. Yep. Uh, no. For the time being, I'll put that myself here and uh, resetting. Oh, uh, no. It's Spe just, yes. Spe okay, Shabaroon, I do hate you again. Spending um, to, to pick up the stone. And then jog, uh, stepping twice over here. All right. You'll pay for that, Shabaroon. Why? <laughs> He's been so kind. Mm hmm. 
didn't use any catastrophe on your models so and uh, we are jumping on turn two at yep, this point. reset so we reset these Yeah, thank you. We should get rid of those. Uh, those are unnecessary. <laughs> ah, you think they were um, unnecessary? Yeah, fair enough. Okay, uh, we are rolling our dice. Uh, I have a plus three. Let's see how low I can I roll. No, I roll a seven. So. Hey, I'm curious. You said that about the plus three. Um, is that a change that came in the game? Because I it used to be I thought it was plus two for the second round, plus one, and then plus zero. Did that change? The, thanks to the Duchess network of spice ability, I gain a plus one to my initiative roll each turn. Ah, uh, yes, perfect. Now I understand. So the normal plus two, it becomes a plus three on turn two. Okay, I just seen another live stream with you. We were talking about rolling a plus three. I didn't even know, realize you had Duchess, but that I thought, oh, okay, maybe they changed the rules. Um, all right, so and away you go. You have initiative. Mm -mm. The point is, what I want to do at this point. I think uh, first and foremost is going to be to put uh, Shabaroon uh, uh, in a safe position because you never oh. know. So I will jog two inches over there. Any reaction? Mm. No. Okay. We'll, we'll see you soon. Spending three of my energy declaring transcombobulate. Picking up seven and looking again for a blue or a pink tree. Six. And uh, I'm going to repeat myself mm -hmm. and declare that I got a blue tree. Yeah, I don't see any downside to calling it. <laughs> uh, let's see it. I, I, you're, you're, we're going to call you a bluff. Yeah, all right. Um, I will gain back uh, three, wound, three energy, and I can put myself within eight inches. If that is going to be enough. No, this is uh, 9.8. Not quite. Not quite indeed. So I will end up with another four inches over there. That is going to be enough. Uh, resetting. And then spend all my four energy to pick up the stone. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, over to I you. was so hoping I would you would move someone else first because you were going to totally forget transcombobulate. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, it, it was my same idea. That's why I, I remind myself with a punch in the, in the guts just to do so. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought you should definitely forget that. Um... Well, given all that nonsense, let me think about uh, what other things I would rather you not know about uh, for the remainder of this term. Um... I got a couple. <sighs> Not having catastrophes is tough, but a large spread like this one is still helping me out. Because now Kev can go for two stones, but you have to fight for the fourth one, where I have a... Uh, okay, so hopefully... we'll go ahead and activate uh, Gratic. Mm -hmm. A good chance to reach the other one. Uh, next turn is going to be turn three, and then on turn four, pick Let's it up. Let's see how far away he is from everybody. Um, he's already in range there. Mm-hmm. We'll just go forward with that. Um, Curious to see what is going to happen.
I guess we're going to go ahead and activate Gradic, and Gradic is going to um, ask Creep to please forget his vitality draw. Oh, very kind of you. Very kind. And for that, we have the perfect token that I'm going to put on top of the ability itself. So I cannot use vitality draw. Shame on All right. you. Nice call. Yeah. Nice call. Um, oh, that's why you mentioned that you hope that I'm going to forget, because then you would be here with Gradoc and taking away the transcombobulate from uh, Shadow. That's what I was planning on doing, yes. I was taking totally. the transcombobulate away, yes. Um, that's why I was hoping you just would activate one other person first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Good hmm. idea, by the way. I mean, yeah, Gradoc is very strong when it comes down to that. All right, so then Gradic will, um, let's see how far we are from everybody we've got here. Um, if you pick up Gradoc. Let me see. Um, he's staying right by the stone. I'm trying to decide if I want to move there. Um, well, either way, even if you make me forget my succubus, I can still uh, pick up the stone. You sure you want to do that? If I move up in this region here, um, suggestion, Kev, uh, bring yep. back the model where it, yeah, yep, right before, yep, okay, to make a copy. Exactly. I mean, you can make as much copies as you want, but this, this is the cool part about about uh, TTS. This is gonna be a two point, so you were a bit ahead of that. You were a two point yeah. three here. Or if you want to see any other way, just uh, copy paste your model and put it wherever. So it's gonna be okay. easy, easier for you. Also, I would like to suggest. Um. Basically, I just need to move where I'm within seven. So this guy is over here. Let's see. That will put him. Mm -hmm. Range of each other. As mm. forgetfulness does have a range That's of That's like eight. I have to put him out there a little ways. Um, All right, so let me move that. Let's see, four inches would be up to there. I'm just going to move this guy right up in this way here. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, 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 um, sorry. Yeah. I was messing around. I'm going to yeah, measure no. the four once again because I think you can get uh, further. Yeah. Further Basically, out. I only need to get seven inches away from her. Um, okay, we can do that together. Yep, there we go. Seven inches is right there. A bit and... closer than what I was. Yes. And yeah, that, that is... way... And that is going to be a 3.2 inches jog. So totally fine. Okay. All right. So we'll do that. And, and do I just delete the other one then? Uh, yeah, totally. All right. So let me grab that and hit delete. There he goes. Uh, All right. No, no reaction. No reaction. And I will then go ahead and let Duchess forget mm -hmm. her succubus ability. Sure. And so she did. And it's oh. over to you. It's over to me. Um, Duchess activates, or maybe not. Yes, she does. She step once. Any reaction? No. Picking up the stone for two. And then she's going to jog back. One and two over here, and it's over to you. All right. Um, Sabarin, I hate you. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, 
we are probably facing uh, enough a tough time for Kevin, so but he still have uh, the option with here. Loki to come up and uh, okay. uh, throw my model in. This. If anything, and that is a good uh, thing for him, as he does have uh, anyway more models to activate than uh, what I do. And now, uh, my creep can only take away wounds from enemy models or victimize them. But consider that uh, my other character, my other uh, ranged characters are already activated. If I go here, there is not much. I'm um, proceeding to move right over the stone. Now, the problem is that the stone is a deepness of three and it does need to be. Oh, waste because you'll just do that again. All right. Um... We'll have to figure out another way to deal with it. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and activate Loki. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, are there any Loki? So um, having the Duchess behind Boulder is helping me a lot. As uh, for the chest, oh, now, um, she cannot be targeted. Okay. I didn't see if that far that was, but it should be uh, less than 3. four. Six. Yeah. Okay. Um, After which, Gwendoline mm -hmm. will take a step back <laughs> like a nice lady. Yeah. I still remember your comments from before. So, oh, okay. Let's see if I can do that in another way. Uh, picking <laughs> her up, moving her one inch using the yeah. This is one inch. Even if he reports 1.3 over there, oh. Uh, it's all right. It's yeah. It's just to be under. It's a the, very inch. I get it. Um, we can call it this way. No. All right. So the intent here will go ahead and do you spend three energy to pick that stone up. Um, so you would have uh, uh, any reactions. Three if you reaction like. steps if I want to. The stone, it's all yours. It does make totally sense for him to do so. And now it's over to me. What to do indeed? I think Shabron should come back over and play. Yes. <laughs> I completely agree. Where over it means the other opposite uh, side of where the gnomes are. I agree with yes. you. Yeah. Yes. 100%. I love your transcombobulate use, though. I think that's quite clever because... I don't think a lot of people think through that about the fact that you uh, transpopulate yourself as a stone carrier. I think that's uh, an extremely um, clever use of that ability. Thank you. I mean, I simply thought that if I cannot uh, play at my own game, as uh, Gradoc and Mama pretty much doesn't allow me to do so, I had to do. I have to play another way around, and that yes. seems to be the best, at at least for uh, the way that the games it goes on. And so, uh, Creep will go, uh, making sure that I don't have to show you my end, as uh, Loki is too far away from Gradoc. I'm gonna spend two uh, targeting Loki and declaring uh, Incubus on him, on him, picking up three cards and looking for any pink. Uh, that will turn... <laughs> That will turn in a pink too. Okay. Um, oh, pink too, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, that means Loki will suffer two wounds and a friendly character within eight inches of um, uh, creep yes, and line of sight two. will gain two wounds. You don't have anybody that's actually injured right now, do you? Yeah. I don't think so. Um, I, I have the Duchess injured, if you remember. Thanks to oh, the Revenge right. of the Friendly Forest. That's Right, that's right. Um, well, I don't want to, but I will allow it. Okay. I was laughing because I have a whole handful of pink. I have a pink, a pink three, a pink two, pink one. <laughs> ah, that's why I was wondering myself what what was happening. But yeah, you just clarified. <laughs> I was like, okay, you know what? Sometimes. Uh, it's just better to let it happen, even though, um, 
Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I know exactly what you mean, but I will... Um, I agree with you because at times even if you call the bluff then uh, there is still the chance that the opponent does have all the pings that you are missing in your end and so from there after yes. it's going to be a long story. Uh, I will uh, rest on my last energy and it's over to you. All right. Um... Uh, like that, now I have the Duchess at full health, and I can make use of Gwendolyn as a model to move Boulder around if I need it. So Boulder is going to be hopefully my cornerstone against which the gnomes have to deal and fight. Even if it's going to be a tough one, as for I the guess bunnies. it's time for Boris to get um, but, a little more involved mm -hmm. in the game. Jogging up is 3.2, 3.6. Uh, that is a uh, is a four not to worry. Yeah, I'm just trying to get him. Uh, yeah, we can. I'm trying to get him a little bit scooted more forward because he could be um, there. There you go, perfect. And he will spend. Let's see, did we get his energy right? Yes, we did. So um, he's That's first right. going to go ahead and summon a murder bunny. Okay. So he will be drawing four cards. And looking for any two. The only downside to having Boris in the gnome list is there's really not a good uh, way to enhance his, uh, his arcane at this list. Um, um, there is no way for him to increase his arcane no matter what. Because he's yeah. a phone and a wizard. So... Yeah, not with the gnome list. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about ways to increase his arcane, obviously, but... Uh, um, you know, it would require like Nagatha or somebody. Um, I'm not Agatha, what is uh, Quack? Um, okay, so, um, a uh, problem Quack works only with humans. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. That, uh, that, that he could only add the energy or arcane or whatever to, uh, uh no, human. no, no, he's uh, like the Baron. The Baron using his Relling Cry works only on human, okay. So Boris is, right. is uh, pretty much like the Duchess. They are both stuck at uh, for arcane, uh, whatever, no matter what you try. Okay. So I have the pink two. That I am gonna loud. All right. And Murder Bunny number two makes his appearance. And we both agree that he's over there, even if he doesn't seems to be at the moment, because the uh, the shadow of the model. Allowed it. We can yep. try something like that. There you yeah. go. Oh, here we are. And that's okay because we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and jog him out. Um, four inches. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And there should be one inch there. Yep. We'll go ahead and jog this other murder bunny up here away, just so we can get his in for involvement. For six, a bit less. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. For one, there's four-ish. Four. There we go. All right, and we will spend one energy taking a step. Actually, I'll probably end up spending two energy on steps, so if you want to react after. I see, make sure he engages um, the big boy there. And he should, right? He does. He does engage the big one, not the small one. All right. Maybe I should move him just a hair bit more that way then, because I should be able to get both of them, I think, with, uh... yeah, there we go. Okay. And yep. Two, yeah. And okay. um, would you like to react? I'm thinking yes. I will be better reacting away with creep. Or uh, rather than away, actually. Reacting one inch over here. This way. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and Boris is done with all his shenanigans for the turn. Mm -mm. It's over to me. 
Yes. Uh, Boulder will activate and attack uh, Murder Bunny number one, drawing four where the bunny draws one. There we go. Um... The bunny does have two by default, minus one for a creep being engaging him. Right. Yeah, there we go. One and two. And I will play, I think, this one. I will go for that one then. Okay, and the bunny is dead. I will apply my signature move, dealing two damage on an eye guard, plus two for the impact. All right. It's called uh, Crushing Embrace. As far as uh, the two of us are within one inch, there is nothing the bunny can do. Resetting. And uh, any reaction after that? I do not. Want to react, fair enough. One inch is over here. I will then jog two inches, making sure I am out of your melee range. And I am, so I can get a bit closer. There. And then jog up another two inches over here, making sure I am away out of your melee range. A bit less. So, Boulder, we can do it. Let's see an improvement in our range. Thank you. And I will rest on my last energy. Over to you. All right, and... Let us see. Um, Boulder has a ton of. Um, The Chevron turning into a stone carrier is a pretty unusual uh, sight, I will admit myself. Now, it's all about Gwendoline. If she managed to reach the other side of this pond, so let's see, I'm just checking her distance. Her uh, distance is a bit less than that because... Uh, I went quite on it, sure. Um, the four is going to be there. So the front of her base is here and then is uh, almost three inches away from creep. His engagement range is... Two. Two inches, right? Mm -hmm. Like pretty much any troll. Yep. And... See if where I get her, if she can be with N4. So, yeah, actually, what I'll do is uh, go ahead and activate uh, Mama Gimbal mm -hmm. instead. All right, Mama Gimbal is going to say, um, Come here, Loki. <laughs> <laughs> so Let me show you some love. Let me show you some all right. Uh, Some mama, yeah, so, mama love. So yeah, yeah. so she's gonna move two inches. Basically, she's gonna run into the stone. Yes, she cannot move further yeah. simply because she cannot clear the stone. And he's gonna hit. Uh, he's gonna hit the. Yeah, we know. I have to change it. I guess at this yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. Slide him in more against the stone against her. Yeah. Oh, there is no chance for him to get closer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Come on. I yep. Can that's it. it. 
I'm gonna move it uh, slowly, it. just uh, using the gizmo. Grant me a moment, because I think he can All get, right. uh, he can eat the stone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. With the two inches movement, as it was close enough, anyway. Yeah, he would hit the edge of the stone there. And now we know we have to change it. Okay. All right. And so then he uh, heals his wounds. Two wounds back. All right, and that was her one energy. I already spent and... two wounds. Oh, you already spent it. Okay. And then she will spend... Um... She'll spend her other two energy to go ahead and harvest that down to a one. Okay. And that's Mama done. So it's over to me. Which is the distance between those two. Uh, 14 inches. 14 inches. Minus 4 is 9 inches. Minus 2 is 7. But I have to go in a straight line and that doesn't sound uh, reasonable. Uh, not to a ferry. Not to a ferry indeed. <laughs> but I cannot go straight because there is a barrier in front of me. So I could... That is a good point because the barriers uh, ferries can't go over. Mm -hmm. Which really... Points to, um, I think, a point that's going to have to be addressed at some point. The There's some kind of weirdness in barriers and obstacles in terms of the ways, the you know, some of the things that are built in the game, like buildings and and cliffs that have multiple sides that are barrier on one side, but not on the other. Like, I think there's kind of a gray area there, right? In terms of, can that ferry get up there? If so, do they have to go around and come from the backside where open terrain it's kind of a strange thing yeah i get your point and uh, it's something that uh, i think has been uh, open up as a conversation uh, in in on the um, tts uh, channel regarding the game uh, discussions uh, i cannot comment much on that because i don't uh, i agree with you that is a bit uh, mm, possibly a gray area yeah totally the fact that uh, you can you cannot uh, you don't know actually how to reach certain areas or uh, how to uh, play with certain um, uh, terrains but if anything i think it, it would be something that they will be looking into and from thereafter we will get uh, our responses I don't see that as much of a i mean it might be a show stop not a show stopper but it might be an issue now if we want to call it an issue, uh, but I think yes, if anything is gonna be something that uh, needs to be looked at, or it will surely will look at being looked at. The point that uh, Sneaky Avogato made, Sam made into the um, into the channel, it was a very interesting one. Yes, for sure, because you've got those situations where place the model within X inches. Um, can create something really strange. They can they can cross the barrier. They could normally not cross. Uh, rather than cross the barrier, what? Yeah, they can cross a barrier, cross other models, squeeze through other models because it's placed, not move. And so you, you skip all the normal uh, movement rules. On top of which, you can end up on top. Let's say if that uh, obelisk here it was a bit bigger, you can put your right. model on top of it with that transcombobulate, for example, because you have to place uh, Shabarun within 8 inches. And so from right. up here, I can simply start to shoot you, having a, um, plus 2, 4, not enough, so 4 inches, it means plus 2 arcane and plus 2 inches on my abilities. So a total of yes. uh, 9 arcane and um, 10 inches range before you're on evade, and I can ignore obstacles that are in the way. Correct. So in that sense, yeah, I agree with you that it, it might be on, in some way a corner case scenario, but uh, if you play with the uh, um, buildings and such, it might not be that much of a corner case scenario of the sort. Right. And the thing is, is most of the games I've seen uh, actually on the tabletop with uh, terrain... Generally, you don't get too complicated with those types of um, pieces of the train, or you simplify it enough that it doesn't become an issue. Yeah. All right. 
Anyway, back on our game, uh, my movement with Gwendoline is gonna be a jog of 1.5 over here and then a further movement of 4.5 that I was measuring before in order to reach that position there. Uh, if we agree that uh, 1.5, this is gonna be the middle of my base, is gonna end up here. So I pretty much clear this barrier and I can move uh, straight for four point, uh, for um, another uh, 1.5 and then step in two. No, is a, uh, sorry, another 2.5 because uh, 1.5 plus 2.5 is four. And then stepping another two times for a total of uh, a 4.5 movement over there where she currently is. Down to, ooh, but I already took, uh, uh. uh you took a react step. Yeah, so, so I one must back. be yep. one inch less. Yep. Okay. That's yep. okay. Uh, so that will bring me one inch closer to you, happiness for your models. And uh, I will target uh, Boulder with a four arcane and declare um, a, te a rejuvenate on him. That ability is gonna trigger on any pink and is gonna grant uh, a friendly model to restore X plus one wounds and then moving X. Uh, so I will yes. pick up four and looking for, sadly, only a pink one, whenever you're ready. Those are not required. And she'll move him one inch. One inch. Giving Kevin the time. He's already in there, so... Um... And the range on that ability, just checking. So if he did it again, it's eight inches. So I can move him uh, once again. Yeah, you'd be able to get him. Yeah, all right. Then we're just going to allow it. And... Resetting. And that means Boulder is going to move one inch over here. Standing always uh, is good. The 1.1 away from the bunny. There. Okay. And it's over to you because Gwendoline ran out of uh, all her energy. Yes, all right. And it is Joanna. Um... Uh, having Boulder up board, it means that now the gnomes might start losing some uh, energy at the start of the replenish and that is all good for me let's see what we're gonna do with her um she have to run and go and pick up uh shabaron moving uh, the way back if the case and that is gonna be a lot of energy loss and the chance of not having uh, the gnomes close to her there it's one Sure. I can try, but uh, it's best for Boulder not to be engaged by more than one model instead. If so I can't get her far enough that I really want her where I want her. Um... And in the meantime, I'm slowly shifting toward that side of the board, leaving the gnomes. Really, the point right now is I have got to take or prevent me from There's getting the stone. There's virtually no way to prevent you from getting Shaverin over to that stone right now. Mm -mm. Um, so I have to figure out a way to take the stone from Duchess. And if I jog her, she has to attack Boulder, or at least deal with him. And that's all I wanted, really. Oh, I meant to, hold on, let me make a copy of her. Um, So it's Control C, and then Control B, right? Okay, so. Totally. Uh, just, move just move her in base to base, and then you can count. Uh, or if you want to go that way, four inches. It's is gonna, gonna be about four inches. Like all right, there. so 
Yeah, and I'm just curious if I run right to his base, let's see. Not that that's a great idea, just looking. Um, so this is going to be a 3.7. Yeah. From there, and... you can move a bit more. So actually, I could move. Let's see. I move over. This is this um... uh, open ground, so you can move over. Open over ground. To... Okay. Yeah. All right. Like that, and measuring. Uh, this is three point nine. All right. So she could move. Uh, and she has a total of three energy. Don't do this at home, children. Um, you should never run Joanna off by herself, but. For the sake of making choices, uh, you have to consider front to front, and that is uh, six. So you yep. still have and... one energy to do a further step. <laughs> yeah, it's just to squeeze her on the terrain. I know that is a bit of a pain to deal with. No, no worries. Six two. So she can probably she can reach. Go. There. That point eight more, yeah. So somewhere in there. Oh, if we can make it happen, or we can block her mid there. That's the easiest way I found to deal with it. And this is still a six point six. Uh, there. And she's gonna be seven like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, meantime, before you remove her, I'm gonna do a copy paste myself as your jog we say is gonna bring you something around those lines it's like right it's and then like, and then it's step 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 yeah yeah it's like a slow motion okay at which point if i gonna step once let's say here uh, you can still step, step, step. Uh, yeah, I can still step, step. You will be within uh, range of my boulder in both ways. So yes. So if your uh, end movement is going to be there, I will confirm my step here. Okay. So we can get rid of this one, that one, and we can leave this one mid. Oh no, can go down because it's a uh, open ground. Uh, open ground here. There. But he doesn't mm. want to go on up and ground. You may have to do your little thing where you slide it up under the edge of that tree thing. Yeah, we do that in a moment. As you must be whoop, down here. And you must be engage, engaging, yes. And being engaged, yes. Okay. And that was uh, Joanna running forward like crazy. Yes, and this is not, like I said, don't do this at home, children. Um, <laughs> this is obviously not her strategy at all. She should be staying in close with her, her little bunnies and, and friends. But um, for the sake of seeing what could go wrong, um, as in the old Fire Marshal Bill, um, one thing you never, ever, ever want to do is this. Um, and that would be run her off like that. Okay, so we go with the replenish at this point as I don't have any other model left. Yeah, you probably don't, uh, you probably, living where you live, you probably not never had the chance to see the uh, fire marshal bills kids. That's um, <laughs> Jim Carrey, uh, you know, the actor Jim yeah, Carrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there was a, uh, a sitcom that he was on that uh, he was uh, called In Living Color and he was fire marshal Bill and he looked like a burn victim and he was always explaining the things you should never, ever, ever do, and then, and then he would demonstrate it, and it would like blow up on him, right? And he'd burn and you know, catch on fire. So, yeah, one thing you should never, ever, ever, ever do is, is put that. an open match next to a whole ga uh, container of gasoline like this. Boom. <laughs> Sorted. Yeah. All right. So now the trick is, we need you to lose your initiative roll, Paolo. Please. Um, for all that is right in the Gnomish Kingdom, you need to let us have our way. And... Or not. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. All right. 
I still roll a five, so that's more than enough. Okay. At this point, uh, Joanna can be a big problem for me. Yes, I know that. (laughs) And um, that was part of my thought process of of taking the wild danger and throwing this in because this is going to force you to make a decision right now on to who you want to save. Jogging oh. two inches for Shabby. <laughs> the guy carrying two stones. <laughs> of course. And oh, ooh. the replenish step. I'm sorry. Did you um? Sorted did already. you give me the negative penalty on my um? Oh no, I didn't. Sorry. Did uh, not. So Joanna should have lost one. And the Gradoc as well. Yep, exactly. So um. Gra- yeah. Not that I really want to lose the energy, but you know, it's yeah. you know, all fair and love and It is what it is at the end that. of the day. Yeah. Yep. 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 And it's over to you. I will rest on my life, on my four energy. Mm-hmm. You're gonna rest on your four energy. Okay. Hey, that's pretty smart, Paolo. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, spend it though? Uh, exactly. If you can get there and then um if you could get there and that, let's see here. Oh boy, let's see what whatever shall we do? Um, you have plenty of options. Yes, I do. And let me see if we want to bring out the, the badness right now. Um, yeah, actually, we are. Um, Oh, well, that'll let you get away, though. We can't have that. That's all right. What I'll do is activate Loki first. Ah, no. Oh, I hate it all the way around. I hate it. <laughs> okay. I'm not happy with all my choices uh, that I've made previously. Um, it's a learning process. Yeah, you know, Gradic really needs the two energy. He really needs it, like, bad. Um, uh, maybe why and, and, Boulder is uh, just up ahead, then? Yeah, I, I know. And the thing is, is that Mama could give him that energy, but as a result of that, one of your people are going to sneak away from my uh, my clutch and grasp. Oh, I don't know what so, you're talking about. Really? Um, okay. All right. What we'll do, then, is... Um, we do need to let somebody forget something before they use <laughs> before it. Before it's so, going to be too late. Yes, exactly. It's not really the ideal time to do this, but we're going to do it. Um, let's see, do I want energy? Yeah, I'm sorry. Creep, I just, you have to lose vitality draw. Oh, you really don't like it, huh, don't you? No, I really don't. And then, um, Shabarun took a step out of it. Yeah, I thought he might. And so we'll go ahead and lose the energy on Gradic. And Gradic is not carrying a stone. Nope. So he's going to throw himself on the, um, into the fray. Yeah. Um, let's see if it makes sense to move him here. Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, and I think that's it for Gradic. Um, okay. Man, I really. Um, really needed that energy that you took so thank you very much paulo you're more than welcome kev anytime you can count <laughs> on me you know and so it's over to me now uh what to do hmm. i think as you say i will have to play in a way that i don't want to like a coward Yes. I, <laughs> I know it's the... so hard for you to play as a coward. <laughs> I wish he could be just as explaining as a coward, but he's even worse than that. 
and um, yeah, Duchess activate, spending three, I knew it. declaring mm -hmm. succubus on Joanna. Mm -hmm. Picking four, looking for any pink. No, oh, I knew it was just a hair long. Okay. Um... And uh, mm -hmm. let's say I have a pink two. All right, so you're going to give yourself your energy. I cannot see Shabaron instead, it would be him. Shame. And right now you're at down. You've used all three, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, and that will give you two energy more. And you had another two would be the only thing. Or you could have a one as well. Okay. I'm gonna, so as much okay. as I hate Apollo, I'm gonna allow it. Okay. That means Boulder will gain two energy. Oh, you're gonna let Boulder have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. and Thank you. After that, I'm gonna jog one and two over here. And it's over to you. Mm, uh, okay. Oh, that's all right. I've still got a. I don't know if I, well, I can't run that far, damn it. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Very, very wise move there, Apollo. Uh, for those at home, he, uh, he was talking duck just in behind the rock because, why was it, Apollo? Was it because you were afraid of being pulled out by somebody? No, me. Never. <laughs> On the other end, I'm pretty sure Joanna lost two wounds after this action. Because yes, I... you did. Yes, you did. Um, so she must and... be down to four at this point. Yes, yes. So that's something that you might want to think about. Yes, because the wounds don't, um, they go right by the um, the damage reduction that, that Joanna normally enjoys. Exactly. Enjoys. Well done to you. Yep. So all of that is experience that is going to help you being a better player on the long term. But in the meantime, it's going to show you one of the weakness of uh, John ability that's something that you need to be aware of and why the bunnies are so important for Joanna because they can be a screen that can protect her and reduce her yes. evade on the way through yes um and so let's see here and I think that's enough shenanigans out of the Duchess if I'm correct oh yeah she lost her ability for one turn if you remember so could be worst. Yeah, no, no. What I'm saying is um, she's done. She should be out, oh, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah, done yeah, and dust. Yeah, yeah. It's her activation's over. Okay. Um... <sighs> now Mother's Draft is just not as exciting as it was going to be. Um... <laughs> um... How far are we with Shabaroon? 2.8. Can reach the stone, jog on the other side of it. I'm stepping on the other side of it. Spending four. Oh, I need four energy. So I can. All right. Let us see if we want to do this then. Um, if I can block Joanna, it's going to be bolder to bear much. here. Um, oh, tough day, but. Could be worst. And it's okay too. So let's see if we can debate this guy. We do Loki. We're going to activate Loki. Oh, I can't tell because I've uh, got uh, the wrong 2. angle. 
1.8 goes straight a bit to uh, 1.9 a slightly bit forward 2.1 up 1.9 i love this game uh two, uh two 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 let it go all right okay all right and So consider that you are within 7.5 and you have Mama within 4. You can pretty much target either Creep with a minus 2, Gwendoline with a minus uh, 2, or try helping out your gnomes. Let's have a step that I will take anyway. And make sure you cannot see Joanna. Ah, uh, okay. Then, um... <laughs> That's why the energy on Boulder. Yep, that's why. Because I absolutely was going to did that. <laughs> okay, fine. Then I'll go the other direction. Um, oh, that's not going to work either, is it? That is going to be a minus two on the Duchess. Uh, minus two plus one. Well, it won't matter. I'm not in range. Um, oh, either. Nope. Not yet, at least. Uh, no, even if you step twice, you lose uh, the ability to, to do so. it. Yes. Totally. Um, now, the possibilities for Gwendoline to drag along, um, heal and move Boulder in order to keep him uh, uh, within Joanna and... Okay, uh, fine. Why don't we just uh, target Boulder? Okay. Um... Uh, plus three, minus one, you go with the plus two. Five. Uh, no, you need uh, one more card, Kev. You go four by default. Uh, no, three by default. No, sorry. three. Three by default, yeah. Okay, so my bad. I was sure that you get No, no, more. it's good. And six for um, me. Um... Blue two. Bluff. You have it. You can move me... Three inches. Three inches. Um, is that three? I can't three, see it. Three, two. Two, nine. A bit back. Uh, a bit forward, tiny bit. Tiny bit toward Joanna, and it's going to be a three. The moment we are three um, one. And this is a straight line, you have to go one. Uh, this is a bit more than three inches because you have to move around the Graddock. Right. Um if I put him one there. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um There, all right, and I guess I have one more energy to spend with Loki. Um, I don't know if you want to go again with any other cards that you have left in your hand. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I could move in one more. Um, Um, yeah, so blue one. I'm gonna say bluff to that. We apply the catastrophe even if we know it doesn't work because Gradock is within four. Within four, yeah. But that blocks you. I from just moving. thought I'd try it. <laughs> yeah, you did it well. <laughs> so after all, right. all of it, Shabarun will take a step and is now down to, to energy. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Over to you. Um, yeah, it's all about the stones, people. And I applaud Paulo's uh, restraint this game. You normally like to run in and beat people up. Um, so it's been fun watching you have to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> So it's over to me. Boulder will activate. He will take a step in this direction. Any reaction? Um, a step in that direction. Yeah, we'll react step one with the uh, bunny. Um, okay, stepping once over here. Let me, let me get my energy off of Boris there. And Yeah, I have to step again. Uh, I am too far away from Joanne. Okay. Yes, that's why I did have to spend another energy to step. Yep. Yeah, and stepping once, once more. So you should be out of energy now. Yep. yep. You're now engaged. Okay. Yep. So for those watching at home, I had to do that uh, burn up Boris's energy just to keep Boulder from jogging around the other side of uh, Gratic. Um, the bun is he could have twice, you yep. have five energy, yeah. so yep. down to three. Okay, enough to yep. summon another bunny. Yep. I love your commentary. Please carry on and do as much as you want to do. Up to your earth content. <laughs> and it's over All to right. you. Over to me. Um... Yeah, I think at this point we have to bring up Boris. Um, Boris is going to activate. Let's see, so he can move 2.3 there. Uh, that another was, one point. Uh, less, uh, count it, 1.6 because there is the stone that is going to, doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do that okay, like, so... okay, that could be 1.5, and then you can down uh, 2.5. This is the middle of your uh, base. Right. So if I do that, you must yep. be here. And then with your four inches jog, yes. Okay. And then I will stepping once. So this bunny will jog. Mm hmm. So he has to move right here. That's uh, two. Yep. And uh, you need to establish oh, yeah, which I'm is sorry. the distance yep, from uh, yep. Crip because at that point you cannot uh, jog further away. So if the case, you can ignore Gradock. I can I can jog on over Gradock if you want to jog over there straight. I don't know. If, if I jog here and then you know what? Let me come back here then because I guess. Let me see if I, because I, what I'm going to do is jog to the other side of creep. But um, I'm trying to see. Maybe I want to summon this guy first. Mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do the summon first, and then we'll go from there. So we'll go ahead and summon the Brunny. So that's my three energy remaining. Mm -hmm. Drawing four cards. And looking for any two. Yep, then I got a pink two. Oh, you got the green two that you can have. All right. And Murder Bunny number one comes back out to play. Hello, Murder and Bunny me... number one. Yeah. And so I should probably be already engaged um, by creep, right? Uh, it might uh, be, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's fine. He's going to jog. He just has to end his jog like. Closer, like, the, he has to be at least one inches uh, away. So, um, 
That's right, because your end is what it matters. Not like if I go this direction, it doesn't really matter as long as the end of my jog ends up being shorter than. Uh, right? Not really, because uh, it happens at any moment during your jog uh, that you okay. get closer. That's right. Thank you. All right. Yep. So in that case, then if we move here, we're going to move, and that will be basically in base contact 6, with him. Yeah. And then you still and, have uh, 2.4 to move. Yeah, but and you can so move then around. 1.6, so that's 1.8. And then... 1.6 um, is 2.4 in order to reach your 4 inches. Yep. So this is another 1.6. Uh, it's going to be 3.2. And you have another 0 0.8 if you want to. Yeah, but it doesn't really get him closer to... Uh, Duchess, no, neither to yeah. Gwendolyn. Uh, possibly to Gwendolyn if you want to, but I, I have yeah, enough actually, energy to step away and do whatever I want. Yeah, exactly. Um, I will go ahead and do it just to add that extra dimension of uh, you can't jog with her until... Yeah. You're going to spend the energy, of course you will. All right. I, all have, right. Uh, yeah, I have uh, more energy than the one I really need. That's all I yeah, want Yeah, with her, for sure. All right, and then the other murder bunny... Um, I think I could bring him here this way and then through. Good old fashioned uh, blocking and tackling here for the American football fans. So what we'll do is uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna actually or in basketball we're gonna run a pick play with this bunny. Murder bunny's gonna oh you can't squeeze between uh -uh. enemy models. Uh -uh. Ah yes never mind never mind. All right, so that's we'll have to go this way about it then. Okay. All right, so we go this way, and, and that's 1.3, mm -hmm. and then we'll go... He's a... Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, i got to drop it again. All mm -hmm. right. So let's do that. So what we'll do is we'll create a copy, Control-C, and uh, control See, you, you, now we are talking the same language. All so right, th and this is that's... This uh, be Mark... Uh, from center to center is a 1.8. All right. And... You still have 2.2 .2 of movement. All right. Let me. Just... Oh, there we go. And. Ah. Oh. How about that? <laughs> just need one of those murder bunnies. And see. A 1.8 again. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get one of those. I've got both of them there. Um... Ah, control C. Control B. There we go. This is where now we're talking. All right. So, but I I have to stay. If you want that... to reach here, ah, because no, you cannot jog you, away you from can, me. I cannot jog away from you. Um, all of that oh, it doesn't apply. Even... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yep, I see. Yep, because they'd have to step in order to do that. Yes. Um, wasn't thinking about that. Sorry. Yep. So if we go the other direction. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was 3.1 and like another point. Uh, you did two. already the 0 0.8 over there. Uh, 3, ah no, it was 2.1. But from where you were, that it was. Yeah, right here. between there, right between those two guys, yep. That's, uh, let's say a 2. Yep. Uh, let's count, uh, let's count it as a 3. Zero, zero 0.9 Three. and you still yep. have, yeah. So pretty much you end up where you are with, at the moment with the bunny. That is going to be your full four, because three it was over there, and then yeah. another inch of movement is going to bring you there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... Oh, and we can get rid of the duplicate, the the the, 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 the clone. One. Yeah. And let's see. Um... Ah, okay. Just checking. Mm -hmm. And so engaged with him as well. All right. And that's all the fun we can have with Boris and the bunnies. Uh, yeah, at the moment, yeah. Uh, but seems to me, but I would likely be wrong. No, two inches is uh, earlier than the um, Boris base at the moment. So... He's not engaging oh, creep. Measuring uh, okay. from here, I reached the two without touching the body's base so far. I have to go 
no, actually, I retreat there anyway. I think it is two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Exactly two. You pew. And That's so... a Texas two inch, people. <laughs> um, creep uh, will activate, targeting Joanna, spending two and declaring Incubus on air, picking up three cards. Uh, doing nothing, oh. not to worry. Yeah, all right. All right, I didn't get him out, but yep. Yeah, no, he, yep. Gradok wasn't uh, within the range, but uh, when I don't have the card, I don't like simply to play it because it's a waste of time right. for uh, the two of us. Yep. And uh, with my last energy, spending one, I will attack the bunny. I will go with three cards versus right. uh, your two. Um, You are, yep, because it's minus one. That's correct. Three versus if two. We agree, yeah. Yep. It doesn't really matter if we agree. You're still getting them. <laughs> uh, but I always prefer to double check together uh, yes, what we want to I, do. I, I know. Actually, what do I want to play? I don't have so, any options, so there you go. Mm, yeah, I think I still go for that one. Oh, you're there. Sorry. All right. Raising for you, low guard for me. And so that means I block you in a perfect way. Yeah, and then you come back with. Um, I will not come back. I will use my two low guards. Effect. Yeah, to move eight inches. Mm -hmm. What? The that... coward's way out. I love it. <laughs> You can say so loud and clear, but uh, to be totally sure, I will come up here. And it's over to you. All right, so. Hmm. It's not yet done, so it's a very, very, very risky one, and I need Gwendoline more than before now. All right, we'll activate with Joan or Mama. Our favorite young lady here. Um, let's see here. So, if um, we we step, uh, a step is gonna still leave you within one inch. One is there. Yeah. So if I jog, I can be exactly one inch from you. Yes. Um, is about there and man this isn't gonna work um because it is that all right um Because at this point in the game, folks, uh, there's really no way that I can deal with Shadowrun. He's effectively run off with the the goodies, as you might say. Um, so the only real option I have to try and bring this into a known favor would be to deal with the Duchess. So the way for him to deal with the Duchess is to try and get jo Joanna to engage her. Um, I can't accomplish that this turn, but what I'm going to do is step as closely as I can so that when she fails, her initiative roll next turn, uh, well, we'll know what happens then. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We're going to go one, two. So that's that's her jog. Yeah. You um, still have uh, two and steps. And then she'll have two want. steps. Yeah. With two steps, yeah. you reach here and you engage her. You engage her. But I can't. I don't have any energy to, to attack me. do yeah. anything useful. Yeah. Um, and let's see. Who else you have left? You have Gwendolyn. Um, I won't be able to get enough react steps out of that. Um, see, an alternative, just I'll think through it out loud. 
An alternative I thought was to leave Joanna here where she's at now so that I could maybe move Mama Gimbal into a range to give her an extra energy so she could take three steps up. But uh, even that won't work because uh, I'd have to really you know, move Mama quite a ways to get there. So anyway, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take Joanna here and then we'll move her to... Steps this way. So let me see. Gwendolyn, hers actually pulls directly towards, right? Her ability? Yeah. Okay, and actually, I think I may end up engaging. Her. She's not engaged, as far as I can okay. tell. But to double check. Yeah. No, no, she's out. Yeah, it would be well. Actually, maybe I didn't move the full two. I was supposed to move. Uh. Is it? No, yeah. Okay. It's yeah. It's right there. Okay. So can... she's engaged. Yep. And she's not engaging Gwendolyn. Nope. And she is then out of energy. And Shabaron is stepping, going for the stone. So at this point, what I want to do is uh, what I want to do is the following. Uh, Boulder is not any longer engaging you, right? No. No. Uh, activating Gwendoline. Jogging. Actually, I could jog four over there, straight. And then step once. Uh, but a bit less in order to be within one of those stones. Um, from thereafter, I will uh, target um, Boulder and declare a terror lure on him. Picking up my full uh, five cards. Uh, five cards. All right. Yeah. And looking for. Um, Sorry. Let's see here. There's a. Uh, I did a job. You would cover. Uh, there is uh, no cover as far as I can tell because uh, none of your model is uh, blocking him and I am within Are, one inch of those the rock. Oh, you're within an inch. Never mind. I thought you were further an inch back there. Yeah, you're good. I, I moved All closer right. with uh, my step. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Picking and... five and looking for any pink. With an ethereal allure because he still is at full health. And I'm going to declare a pink too. All right, I'll allow it. Okay. That means Boulder is going to come in a straight inches line. Straight. Yep. Yeah, four Here, inches. I'll hold the line or whatever if you want. There. There you go. Four. And it's over to you. All right, we've got Mama Gimbal, and she's going to activate. So she'll spend her energy to go ahead and pick the first energy to go ahead and pick the stone up. Mm -hmm. Moving over two. And. I never saw myself, Shabarun, grabbing stones and run away. N not a catastrophe in the whole game, just running away. Yeah, that's the spirit. Be a goblin. At heart. I'm not sure. All right. Well, not a lot we can do here. The um. Uh, hold on, I think we're running into the issue with the rock again. Let me see here. Uh, um, let me do a quick trick. Uh, yeah. Basically, I'm going to move her straight towards Joanna, two inches, which is her job. Oh, um, I'm missing the line. Yeah. Try to move her now. So there is no rock. 
Oh, so the problem might be not the rock itself. Okay. Let me remove that one. Okay. You know what we can do is just draw a straight line um, and measure from the front of her base. Mm -hmm. Two inches straight towards Joanna. And that's where uh, the front of her base should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you have the line. Oh, yeah, you mean. No, I think that try now to move two inches. I think it's going to be fine. Okay. As uh, if not, I know what is the issue. Is the little plant that is no? See, now it should be fine. Point nine, one point one more. Oh, you can't get point one, can you? Okay. Um. All right. That's two. And then she's got what two energy left. Um. I'll go ahead and uh, step her. It's one inch that if I do that, it'll bring him that direction. Uh, there is a barrier in the middle, and you need line of sight on Loki. Yes. Um, so no, I mean, if I moved him one inch, if I moved her one inch, um, I'm like, I was just thinking out loud. Even if I did get line of sight, it doesn't really help me. I was just thinking out loud. Um, uh, no, it doesn't. You still don't have it, I guess, after one inch yeah. movement. No, I won't. So she's going to end up moving two inches. her uh, two inches just using that. And somewhere in that general vicinity is fine. Yeah, she will and, be moved. Yeah. And that'll be both her energy. Um, oh, I didn't react with Loki, did I, before I activated her? To, no. Uh, feel free to do so. Yeah, I should have done that with Loki. I was holding that to move him one. Um, not that I'm going to use that ability on him, but just because I need to get him somewhere closer to being involved in the game. All right. And... That would be the end of the turn for the gnomes. And as well for the dominion. We'll jump into turn uh, four. four. And it all boils down to if there's anything we can do to stop the duchess. In which case, Joanna is going to lose one energy. Yes, Joanna, um, I think you're the only one, I think. Yeah, yeah, um, no, she's, she's the yeah. only one. And did you already do it? Yeah, so she's going to get only two. Yep. And, and the yep. rest are fine as they are. Yep. So this is turn four. Turn four. All that I... matters is whether or not I can take something away from Duchess. Um... I got a plus one on turn four. All right, and... But no, a six. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, as far as I can kill Joanna in the process, I'm happy because neither Gradok or Loki can uh, really be a threat for her. No, that's it. No, the only thing that could happen, and actually, if you just if you just actually activate Duchess and step, and away. step and road run, it's yeah. game over. I mean, there's nothing I can do. So uh, it's very well played. Um, it was so close to catching her, but I needed that initiative roll. <laughs> I agree with but you. If you'd like, if you'd like to beat up on um, Joanna, um, feel free to do so. Mm. Oh wait, that may backfire on you. Because um, if you activate Boulder first, and um, and Joanna does her signature move, all models within Duchess, two inches. Duchess would be uh, hurt. Oh yeah, um, but the bunny will uh, be in the process, but not Gradok. No, if yeah, anything, but... I would uh, uh, activate the Duchess and try to take wounds away from you. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if you were gonna, I mean, for the game, if you wanted to win, you just activate the Duchess and step away. I mean, you, you won the game. Um, yeah, but uh, and but if you wanted to beat up on somebody, then you might not win the game. <laughs> or so, or uh, how do they say, risk it for the biscuit? So yeah, um, we can all see how it goes. Um, Duchess activate. Yes. Spend three, and the, oh, maybe not. No, wait. Mm -hmm. Even better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, yes. Use Creed first. 
because, because he's remembered his ability, right? Yeah, because you never let me have the chance to use creep this game. I know, I know. I've locked him down, and um, if you're going to activate him first, he's going to get to use his ability. But it doesn't mean that he's going to get the card because he's going to be on um, minus. Uh, he's going to be on three, three cards. So it's all a big if. But let's see if I can get where I want to get first. If the case of activating creep, this is 1.3, uh, 2.3, 3.3, and a 0, 7 here. Am so I should I uh, react step? <laughs> react step. Um... Down to it one doesn't energy. matter, but it, um, yep, down to one energy. And then, oh, wait a minute, then I won't be able to pulse her, will I? Because hold on, that was the thing, mama has to pulse her, so uh, mama can uh, oh, still wow. jog, yeah, two inches, that's not enough. Um, why not? Because the pulse is more than that, yeah, see, <laughs> this is fine, it's only, like, yeah, but the pulse is only like three inches or something. For, uh, 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 you mean mother's uh, rot, uh, it's gonna be three yes. inches. Mm even yes. if you stay back yes that's what i was saying it won't matter it's too far anyway because you have to do mother's love first and bring back joan and then you can activate the pulse and giving back her two wounds and one energy yeah so i don't know that it really matters if uh if i react step then frankly um so i might as well not um yeah because it doesn't really help me um uh, the only thing that would help actually would be to react step with uh, a bunny. Mm -hmm. Move him up uh, one inch. Yeah, the only reason I'm doing that is that uh, we get an extra buffer of uh, bunnies around Joanna. Um, mm -hmm. Not would... that this ability makes a difference because you're going to suck the light, the, the energy out uh, of it. Maybe. It's, uh, it's a big if because now I will uh, spend two and pick up three cards only. Out of which, yeah. I need a pink. Yeah, but a pink one's enough to make a, enough of a difference. And let's see. But I will pass because I have nothing. Oh. As I say, I don't take the risk to call a card. Well, I would certainly call your bluff that time yeah. anyway. Um, yeah. We both know that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's and, like, uh, uh, I'm not going to fold... Uh, before I see your hand. <laughs> exactly. And it's over to you, because I will rest on my last energy. Hmm. This could be interesting, though. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to skin this cat. Um, <laughs> so if Loki could possibly bring you in, then... Yeah, that, that'd probably be the way to go about it. Um, the, other way, the other way to kind of hem you in would be to uh, activate Boros, throw some bunnies uh, back behind uh, Duchess. And or a bunny, at least one and maybe two. Um, speaking of which, did I give my two energy this turn for Boris? Let's see. Uh, I, um, I gave them and I gave one back because um, it was on four plus two six minus one for the reaction step the bunny took. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And so I could do that. Um, Actually, that might be the better way to go about it. So, I wish you could do that. Just forget that she, because the order makes so much difference. Because if I make her forget her ability, she won't be able to deal wounds on John. Wounds, but she will be able to jog away. Um, and which is effectively a win anyway. Um, Oh, fun times. So let's do this for the fun of it. All right, we're going to activate Boris. 
Um, first thing we'll do is jog a bunny. Four over there. Yep. And then Boris himself will jog. Creep will step back once. Four. Okay. And when the line will step back once. So I have three energy to summon a bunny. Um, wait a minute. Um, and then two. So there is still this bunny here that he didn't move yet. Did not jog. Yeah. And. I might as well go ahead and move him. Let's see. He's not going to really be able to get in too much to make a difference, really. But we'll go ahead and move him up here for the fun of it. Um, just to do some line of sight blocking and such, um, potentially for something else. Um, so he's jogged. So then... Um, I'm gonna spend one energy to step this bunny. That one. One. There. Okay. So you spend right, four now. Yeah. And reactions. If I want to take a reaction, I took it a while ago, rather than leaving the Duchess here open. Okay. All right, then I will uh, step one, and that will put me in range. Uh, yes. That was just at three. Um, and that will be one step, so one less energy. That puts me at three. And I will uh, swing. <laughs> sure. So um, she's engaged by Joanna and the bunny. Um, so that's minus two cards for her. Wait, let's see. I don't even look. Let me see. What is her? Uh, does she disappear with her signature move? Let me. <laughs> she reduced uh, the damage and give you energy. It's like Silver Tongue, if you ever played against him. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it gives me three more energy. Um, which doesn't matter this game. Um, wait, the, the, the enemy character gains three energy and may not target this model with an action for the remainder of the turn. All right, so here's a good subtlety question, meaning let's say you gave him three energy, and this is just for the fans at home, right? Um, and you gave him three energy, he can't target you anymore. But the bunnies could, using that free energy. Uh, the bunnies could, uh, but the bunnies are controlled directly by Boris. Yep. So they have Boris have to spend the energy. And Boris is yep. the one that makes the bunny moves and everything. So the action that the bunny took is thanks to Boris. In that sense, is uh, the same as saying that Boris is activating. But I can see the point that you're making. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, because it's actually he wouldn't be targeting. The deal is they would be targeting, um, but they would be using his energy to do so. So mm -hmm. that's uh, that's actually a good question to like uh, look into. If you ask me this time around, if we want to go down that line, I, um, I, I won't. But I'm just saying no, it's a good I, I question. Will, I, will yeah. let, I will let go this way. I still consider that if the Duchess is outside of uh, her melee range, any end step effect that affect an enemy doesn't apply for the kids at home really ah that's okay i did not know that paulo um that's why i'm mentioning just because then we are on the same page and i don't play the gotcha moment as i did other times with other players just for the fun of it because they keep forgetting this is the first time that me and you are playing that interaction and yes. uh, following the um, rules from the arising you can see that uh, is reported uh, about the rules clarification if you look for the end step effect they only apply to the model itself and to an enemy that they can deal damage to 
So if I okay. am outside of my melee range, it means I cannot. De I will deal nil damage to you. And in the same way, end step effect doesn't apply when referring to an enemy. In this case specific, oh. the enemy characters will not gain three energy. When it refers to an enemy. So yeah. this is a good point of clarification because think about this situation. And I've had this game encountered where I was playing Eric, right? The square. And Eric was out of range um, when someone attacked him. But I used my... Um, um, you'll regret that special move to replace him with Lubar. So in that <laughs> case, he's he's not tacking. And then that Lubar was in range, right? It was a great like move. Um, but since that end step effect doesn't target the enemy, correct? It, does it still apply? Correct. Totally awesome. correct. Okay. Uh, good. The, That's good to know. Case goes for Gwendoline as well. The enemy cannot make a melee action targeting this character until end of turn. Will not apply. Because yes. if she is um, outside of her melee range, simply because she cannot uh, affect, affect, sorry, the enemy character. All right. Well, let's go ahead and charge ahead with some melee. So I'm two plus two um, for attacking. So Minus I'm one four. for Boulder. As uh, oh, is base. he? Yeah. Is he? Front to front. Does he have line of sight? Yeah, I see he does, just ever so slightly. Joanna, why couldn't you get in there a little bit more? Um, okay, so yeah, just ever so slightly has um, line of sight to Boris. So I'm drawing three Yep. and three cards. You'll be drawing like one, I think. One. And I don't even know what my signature move is here. Let me see. I know it's something where I've got other animals that helps. So let me see here. It is. Boris, uh, it's um, thrust. impact thrust, and it does uh, almost um, plus one for each animal. And so, actually, that would only help if I have animals, then if I have thrust. Okay. Uh, you have two animals within four inches, the two bunnies. So that is going to increment uh, your damage by plus two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me flip him back over. I have to make something. I think uh, that my, what I play may not work. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, flip. And it is, if I do slicing and damage, uh, I do plus on impact, but nothing on slicing and piercing. Correct. All right. Um, as well as the, you are down to two energy at the moment. Okay. Yep. That was, yep. Okay. So I'll, st I'll just stay with what I got then because I get, okay. Okay. I will spend one and go for it. All right. Picking up two and going for that one. All right. Okay. And I've got a thrust and I have two of them. Okay. So a thrust by default will deal a damage that you cannot deal and then you have to trigger your signature. It, yes, that's what I'm doing. Triggering my signature. So one, I do two, one, two, three, plus four. two. Four damage on me. I will be down to three. You will suffer one wound in return because you are targeting the Duchess. And we will rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. And um, that puts me down to one. I'm drawing three again, right? Yep. Yep. Boris is not a melee man. <laughs> no, he's not. Um, hmm. Uh, do you want to go for it? That's my last energy. Um, you know what? I could pay two to get... Wait, what? Pay two to get one card, or I no, could pay, pay one, one to, to get, get two cards. Card, or I could pay one to get three cards if I go again. <laughs> so I'll wait and go for three more cards. Okay, I will spend one and go for it myself instead. Okay. Perfect. You will deal one plus one, plus two, two damage, but I will trigger my signature and reduce the damage by minus three. So I will not suffer any damage. And as we just mentioned, you cannot get your energy because I am outside of my melee range. Right. I, I still can target you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, yep. So, wait, this guy, he's plus one, not plus two in impact. That's why. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, no damage. Wait. 
producers. Yeah, yeah, no damage and that. So we're gonna rinse and repeat and try it one more time. I mean, you know, why not? Um, you suffer another wound before that. Now you go. Oh, is it every turn? I mean, every time. I thought every, it was the first time. Every action that you take against her. Oh, okay, perfect. Not perfect. I hate it, but okay. Um, so he took another wound, so he should be down two. Uh, he's gonna be down. No, he's, uh, he's already down two, so he's uh, six and he's correct because he does have a uh, six by default. Yep. Well, he is eight by default. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yes. Eight by default. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he's down two. Yep. All right. And so we're doing it one last time just to see if we have any fun with it. And doesn't look like it's gonna be that much fun. Going for it myself. Okay. Um, why am I having a hard time grabbing this card on my hand? Um, there we go. This one for me. That should be all of your energy, I believe. Um, for both of us, yes. Yep. I am and you are. Yes. More importantly that you are. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I block you again. Yes. But I have yep. nothing, I mean, I, nothing even if I counter, to do. nothing happens. Yeah, the other thing is I had a high guard or a sweeping cut. So sweeping cut does no damage. Um, high guard doesn't do any damage either. So that's the problem of only having three melee cards. All right. And that would be um, Boris's activation. Done. And it's over to me. Uh, Gwendolyn will activate. Stepping once. Any reaction? Gasps. <laughs> okay. Uh, targeting the Duchess uh, with uh, oh, the I energy know. and declaring uh, rejuvenate on air, picking of five course. and looking for any pink. Let uh, us see. If you pick the. Yep. I'm trying to get my number. There we go. And oh, yeah. And uh, I got a mm -hmm. pink too. All right. Yes, she did. I believe you. Okay. That means... Restores three. Uh, restores three wounds up to six yeah. and can move two inches. At this point, she have to go one, OP, and two over here. Yes. Now, yes. <laughs> that means that uh, we are... How far away? 3.4 away. Uh, yeah. So Gwendolyn will jogger four over here and resting on her last energy. Over to you. And that is blocking and tackling. <laughs> yes. And that's pretty much avoiding that Joanna can attack any other than Boulder and Gwendolyn. And yep. even if Loki feels lucky and he wants to go against the Duchess, uh, there is a very slim chances that something would change at this point, as blocking John, it was the main concern out, out of today. Yep. So Mama, Mama is going to... Wait a minute. So she should... Let's see. Why does she only have two energy? Um, she should have three. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking that I didn't react up with her or anything. No, I did not. Okay, so she's going to actually um, jog. Um, um, not, I'm sorry, a two. And and then she'll move one. I think. Let me see if I do two. The thing is, is that I'm, I'm trying to make sure I get Joanna within my pulse, and I think I need to move the extra one to get her. No, you have to move another two in order to get her, because the pulse is three inches. Yes. That is right. your two, and if you move another inch without leaving the model go, move her... Okay, that's two. Oh, no, yes, we did, but uh, you have to move around Gradok. One. So it's not a straight line toward Joanna. Right. The um, Well, if I move her one, it is more or less if I do that... I, I guess the jog could have been a little bit more on the angle, but I think one still gets her within the three. Yeah. So that's the two plus the one three inch 
to get her there and then give her the pulse. So that's one inch, that one to um, do the pulse. Well, that's right. Um, well, let me see. If, I wonder if I should move once more before, because I don't think I can get here within. No, I can't. And then, yeah, I can't get any enemies within two, so it doesn't really do anything other than Mother's Wrath giving one energy to all the remaining gnomes. Um, one to Radok, one to Joanna, one yep. to Loki. Yep. You, one to Loki, one to Gradic. Did you you already did the one for Gradic, right? No, 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 no. It must be on two okay. because you start on two and I wasn't start engaged two. by Boulder. Right. And okay. And so Mama has one left. And Joanna. Um, there we go. And then and Joanna is down. If I do Mother's Love this way, it will not move him. If I move Joanna, I might as well just do my Mother's Love on Joanna. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, she's not going to really move. Like, I mean, neither she's of gonna them kinda, is going to move. Yeah, yeah neither of them are going to really move. I mean, but she gets the uh, the, the the healing and restores two. Mm -hmm. All right, and that is Mama's activation. So over to me, Boulder will jog in base to base. Over here. Mm -hmm. Any reaction? Um, that and this. Um, Actually, that, that, that can wait because Boulder is not a rush. What is in more on a rush is the Duchess. Yes, that's what you need to move right now. Yep. One, two. two. And that's it because she has a stone. Yep. And it's over to you. And here is the whole um, crux of the game, if I can do this. Um, I don't think it'll matter. I think I'm still going to be a bit too far. So Loki has a stone. So if he jogs two inches this way, mm -hmm. and he targets the Duchess, is is in range yes it just yeah but it's i still not gonna matter um uh, let's see the duchess has how much left so she's got um six six out of seven Well, possibly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, target her. So he's going to be getting plus one, minus one. He's go with his flat three. Yep. All right. Wish me luck, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so uh, excited. And I'm saying that I have a blue three. Sure, you can move have you four inches. Go ahead. All right. So we're going to have to like move her one, kind of like you just moved her, like one inch there. And then there's one. And then a, yeah. three more inches this way. All right. Okay. And. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and reset that. And she didn't call my bluff. Um, and we'll do this again. Um, Still with a minus one for Boris. Is there a minus one? No, Seems I don't long. think so. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's a minus one on Boris. This uh, on oh, that pawn doesn't count. So no, no, no it's a full uh, full three plus one four. Yeah, not not the four cards is a lot, but oh, how about melee? <laughs> Reset. All right, and and six for me. <gasps> oh, thank you, the gnomish god. See, you know that's the deal. When you're a Norse and you worship the Norse gods, uh, like he does, he uh, he invokes the uh, you know the power of Odin and all that, and he gets a blue three. I'm gonna say bluff. 
Oh boy. You did it. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to move her one. I can't see. Is it one? Uh, it's one, one, but carry on. All right. And actually, I think I move here and then um, that's 2.8. That's three. And well, what I'm trying to do here is move her around this way. Um, um because I'm not going to have energy or energy left, so I'm trying to get her into a Gradix range, so... Um... If you want to do that, it needs to be done one step at a time, is the easiest way, believe me. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's just move her one inch, um, or two inches, that's fine. No, that's good there. And two there is fine, and then two towards uh, Gradix one, is fine. Yep, and two. then and then she wants to go straight towards Gradix. And two toward Gradix. Okay. And... Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and so she's there. <sighs> Quite interesting, because what will depend on everything. I'm sorry, we'll reset that. Actually, I could move her again, but yeah. I'm not going to. Because I didn't have a blue, and you'll call it. Why not? So um, what are the odds of me getting two blue threes? <laughs> you know who is your favorite now? Uh, no, like, you know what we were talking about before, about going for the optimal um, and planning on that? <laughs> the next time I play Loki, he'll never draw blue. <laughs> so, all right. Um, and I think so Loki has done his job. He's done everything. He's, he's exhausted himself, and he's over. So it's over to you, my friend. And so Boulder goes at this point. He's going to jog the same way that he was jogging before. And uh, spending one attacking Joanna. He will go with three cards because of the bunny, but not because of Boris, because Boris is not uh, anymore uh, uh, engaging him. No, nope, because of the um, the enemy model breaking the line of sight there. Yep, yeah, very, very wisely done. Um, uh, Joanna will go with uh, five by default, plus one for Mama, minus one for Gwendoline. She will go with uh, the flat or... five. Five plus one minus Let's one. See. Ah, no, there is the Duchess as well engaging her. No, yes, no, Duchess is not engaging her, but she's engaging Duchess. Yes, um, but, uh, yeah, so cases you go with still with five. Yeah, um, yep, five. All right, um, and I think. So you have the thing that like squeezes the life out of him, right? Um, but not if you use your signature move because you are not attacking me, myself directly. Point is, you're gonna damage the bunny, Boris, and Gwendolyn in the process, along with the Duchess, yep. of course. Yeah. So just a refresh. She is this uh, the Valkyrie Bladestorm, and it is a upgrade from Sweeping Cut. Um, no, what I'm wondering is, uh, isn't uh, Boulder's uh, signature move the one that takes the energy away from... Yes, it is. If I got that trust, or more than one, I will make you lose uh, half your energy rounding up for each trust I have. That well, the... if if I suffer wounds, that's the... Key. That's the point, yes. Oh, yes, okay. All right, and my signature is this, so... And in, does slicing damage to all models for the two that did not participate... Um, hmm, okay, and I don't have a good option here, it doesn't look like, um, <clears throat> And this is how gnomes tend to survive no matter what, no matter the odds. Actually, I have to. Um, I'm going to have to spend one energy to go for it. And killing the Duchess in the process, maybe? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you did not want to go for it. Uh, no. Hmm. I 
will not be able to damage Joanna as she does have okay. a reduction um, of minus two, four. We'll go this way. Okay. I will um, deal uh, four damage to you that you're going to reduce by minus three and still suffer one. So, let's see, suffer one. Yeah, I'm... Wait, it does what type of damage? Oh, it results in wounds. Oh, yes, okay. Because um, you're doing two plus two. I have... Um, Three mitigation. Three. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. Okay, so then um, what I will do is go ahead and upgrade my sleeping gut. Okay. Um, to the signature move, Valkyrie Cyclone. And you will deal uh, one damage by default plus one for your slicing. And uh, I will reduce that to one damage only because of my uh, tough skin. More importantly, the Duchess suffers uh, two damage. Two. Boris, Bonnie, and Gwendoline will all suffer two. Yes. Uh, Actually, Gwendoline, yes, she will too. I yeah, was like, I was, yeah, yeah, she will too. Yep. So they each take two. Um, and it doesn't matter on the other people really so much. The Bunny, Murder Bunny, two, right? Yeah. Uh, done already. All right. So, uh, oh, yeah, you. I can't do that. That board's messed up for yeah, me, so, so you'll have to do I, it. I was fixing them for you. Uh, Boris is on okay, four. Thank you. Uh, the bunny number two is on two. And, and Duchess uh, is down. Du uh, Duchess is down to four and Gwendoline two. All right, and then that means I discard half my energy, which means I will lose one. Yes. And Presenting. did you take the wound down on uh, Joanna? Yeah, okay. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, She's still on six. I was doing the rest of the models. She's, um, she wasn't. I just healed her with Mama's love. Uh, she was so on she, four before, and she goes up two. Oh, uh, she was on four. Okay. All right. So she should go down one and oh, uh, the other way. Ooh. All right. Oh. Okay. You do, it, you do it, and then we stop. All right. So she's at four, right? No, she's at five now because she suffered only one. She wasn't okay. six, suffered one. I'm old and addled in the brain. You'll have to remind me. Okay, she's going to go ahead and let's recycle this, and she will attack again with her last remaining energy. Uh, that was... Oh, it's your, act wait, it's your activation. What am yes. I talking about? <laughs> and Boulder will go again. Again, yes. with three cards. All right. And I will be getting five again. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and spend my energy to go for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Do you want to go for it? No, I don't have energy, so I can't. Hmm. Well, there's that. Okay, let's do it. Okay. This is going to be five damages on Joanna that she reduced by minus three. So she suffered only two. Yep. And, and she loses her. No, Wait. she doesn't lose any energy. But no, yeah, she right. already goes for it. So she loses the energy because she went for it. Went for it. That's right. And then um, and then to you, basically, it's gonna be um, one I'm upgrading again. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So against a falling fling, it will do two plus one, three. Two plus one, three to him. Minus one matter. for the for my tough skin, two on Gwendoline, two on the Duchess. And bunny two on dead. the bunny who's dead. But it doesn't matter. What matters is that the Duchess took two wounds. And two on Boris. And two on Boris, and I will put him down. You already did it, okay. Yep. And... And that's it. It's over to you because I run out of energy. Yes. So I think at this point we'll go ahead and activate uh... Interesting. If I do this, here's the decision at home for the viewers. <laughs> um, 
basically, Gradic has two options here. One, he could step up and, uh, and, and hit the Duchess. He has three energy. So if he did that and the Duchess then uh, got her signature move, he would no longer be able to target her with an attack. Um, so if he, if he, and, and she would do no, take no damage. So the other option for Gradic, since he it's boosted one energy at this point, is to do his snare traps um, and see if he can take her out with that. Um, and if he does, then he could jog up and pick up the stone. Um, because Joanna has no energy. So jo if, if Gratic can't pick up the stone, I guess we'll go sudden death, but okay. All right, so we're gonna do it this way. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the safe route where he's not going to um, step in and, and risk her getting away. And see if there's any other things I could have thought about doing with that. And I don't think so. Nope, all right. So his, um, his arcane's not great, it's two, but mama gives him one. Mm -hmm. And so he's going to be picking up three cards. Mm -hmm. And he needs a green two in order to secure the win. Or a post. green three. Well, yes, yeah, so that two. A two plus. So there are three cards that will win the game for him. Three, uh, possibly win the game. All right, so let's see if we can do it. And where's the... Oh, that's a green three. Or so I assume. You're not going to believe this. Um, Let's see. Let's see if I could do something else. No. All right. It's a uh, green one. Uh, you can have it. We both suffer a wound. Okay, then all that really matters now is that uh, Gratic steps in and spends his energy to attack. Okay. So he will step in and... But at um, this point, he doesn't have the energy to pick up the stone. Neither well, he jog. jogs, I'm sorry, he doesn't... He, yeah, he, no, 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 but... He no will not have this energy to pick up the stone, that's, that's true. Okay. Um, it will be a stone that dropped on the ground and be not picked up, basically, if he's able to kill her. And that's only it. Um, so, Gratic is attacking. His melee is four. It's plus one because of Mama. It's plus two because he's attacking. Minus um, one for Boulder engaging him, so it will go with six. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think he's a little bit outside too. Uh, two inches from base to base. Oh, it's a it's an extra two. There we go. It's funny the two inches. There's two lines that both say two inches, and one looks a little longer than the other. But that's fine. Uh, we'll take the six and be happy. I will go with one anyway. Uh, one for me. I will put it there. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh-huh, and so what you want is a rising attack, and you might have it. Um, I, don't, I don't have a clue. I leave my card here for uh, everyone to suffer along with me. It's better, ain't it? So, oh, wait, wait, wait. The um, Hold on, let me make sure. Uh, before I throw something out, he... Um, Kev, you, yes? you can um, drag out all your end and put it down on the table for everyone to see as I oh, have yes. one card at the end Absolutely. of the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see. So it's control. There we go. All right. So here is my hand, folks. And basically, I've got two thrust, sweeping cut, falling swing, and high card. Um, and at this point... Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think thrust is probably going to be, uh, unless he has a sweeping cut, which I have one of, um, thrust is probably going to be the best option for me, so I'll be stepping forward with thrust. Okay. And I have a sweeping cut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise no one expect. And uh, that will conclude the game because Joanne has no energy to do anything with. So uh, 
wow, what a nail biter right at the end. I really thought, um, I mean, it would have been not a nail biter if you just run away with um, our uh, Duchess. But um, yeah, thank but you for no, sticking no. in and 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 extending the game because it became actually a pretty interesting puzzle I know. to uh, try and figure out, right? Like, yeah. And that was uh, pretty much the idea, right? I mean, running away, it's always the option if you want to... Well, if there were money on the line, you certainly would have run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Not even if say... If it were a tournament, it would be gone, but uh, you, since you it was just a fun so, game. Yeah, no. If it was a tournament, the choice I would have uh, made would be different, and Duchess would probably be at this point uh, over here now. But um, being a game between the two of us, it has been funnier and more... Uh, intensive or uh, brain consuming having the leaving the duchess here without reacting or anything and let her being surrounded by bunnies in order to see which would be the plan that you come up with i think yes. it would be more useful as well for you because i've been playing in the um, the chicken game with the shabaroon realizing that i wasn't able to um, cause any catastrophe on you I simply run away with him and pick up the stones as the only thing I can do. And what the, basically grants the Dominion the win this evening, spending the last four energy from Shabaroon to pick up the last stone. That's uh, correct. Yeah, I think that uh, you still need to be a bit careful when you move your models around, but that will come with time. And planning gnomes is a lot about uh, uh, creating a cluster of models. Don't forget yes. that Bunny's are needed rather than go after an enemy to create a screen for your own models as dominion plays a lot on uh, uh, ranged abilities but if you are able to reduce their uh, efficiency thanks to the fact that they're gonna draw less cards it all works in your way yes uh, very good points Paolo. i think the other thing that um, i had a decision point during the game that i had to make was when when we realized that shadowrun was making the run like he was um, was the point where I had to take Joanna and throw her out there to make you choose a decision between Duchess and Shabaroon. Um, because you could have potentially killed Joanna when I threw her out there like that, but uh, um, but it, it forced you to make a decision on who you were going with next. Um, because it, it could have made a difference if you pick one versus the other, right? Totally. Um, totally, yep. yes. And, it was, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. It was a great experience for me to learn how to play the gnomes. Uh, there's, there are some good synergies. I, I tell you, the, you know, running around, the turtling up, um, it's very, very important. It's uh, um, very important to remember that um, when you face someone like Shabaroon, I mean, I'm used to Shabaroon and seeing him throw catastrophes. So initially I was already afraid, oh, no. Um, I'm going to be suffering, and then I realized, oh, wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to be suffering catastrophes. Um, so it was was a lot of fun. Um, I think the other thing for me that was, was a big learning was learning how to use some of these movement interactions with the gnomes, meaning um, Mother's Love, really many times I was using not for a healing, but, but as movement. a way to move well done, um, yes. people around. And Loki, um, you know, right before the game, we were talking about it, and I was trying to decide about Loki. And it's interesting because I really thought I'd be using Loki to throw out some uh, some wooded patches, but the energy economy just wasn't there this game. I know. He had to spend his energy doing other things. So that's that was important for me to learn, too, that he doesn't get to just throw around wood patches like you want him to. So... Anyway, great game, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the uh, instruction. And um, yes, that plus one initiative that Duchess provided also it, cemented the win, really, for you. I think that that as um, something that, in my opinion, it would be great if it would be once per turn, rather once per game, rather than every turn. Simply because having a plus one on top of possibly having the initiative, it most of the time grants you the chance to plan ahead with your strategy in a very um, secure way. And it's something that having the initiative role and such, uh, I found uh, a bit too strong in a game where, uh, yeah, everything is based on that role at the beginning and there are already bonuses out there. Yeah, because the last two turns, uh, 
really the hanging in the crux based on that initial roll yes. and both turns that plus one made the difference mm -hmm. i agree with you and in in that sense he turn it like uh, brother daniel ability where uh, brother daniel can make you re-roll your dice once per game having her adding a plus one initiative once per game it would make uh, i wouldn't say sense but it would be less uh, of a of a very powerful option that uh, you cannot uh, make use of yeah you know i think though i mean as far as balancing i i totally agree with what you're saying i'm just wondering about like the give and take um if you did give her that once a game but she was able to apply it when after the roll um that would be important um in terms of being able to use it when it mattered yes. um the other flip side is the downside, like meaning obviously the designers, you know, gave her that ability and in return, she's lacking some other part of her game. And for me, when I'm looking at the Duchess, the big thing for me is essentially she has one main skill and it costs all three of her energy. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's the good. And when Gradic is able to take that away. Wow. Yeah, like, but Gradic goes against anybody. So think about Shabarun. Even Shabarun having uh, two, three different uh, arcane action, it can be shut down with a uh, um, double forgetfulness, li leaving him only possibly with the Goblin Mischief when he's playing yes. in a list like that. Yes, or and it wouldn't matter in this game. Wendelang. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that it was that... tough choices with uh, Creep and Duchess having both of those at the same time. It really was hard. Um, I, it made me think a lot about. Well, I, I need to get rid of. I need to get rid of the energy siphon. Like that was the most important in my yes, mind. Yes, yes, um, I agree with you. And then if I can also negate Duchess, like the one turn I was able to pull it off because of the action economy, and I had, it was I was afforded the ability to let him go early um, because every turn after that he couldn't go first. So um, that made a big difference. Oh, the other thing was is that uh, your positioning of Boulder, we're drawing down one of his energy. Mm -hmm. also really made a big difference for him so i saw it coming but you know sometimes you just you have to take the hit on the nose even though you know it's about to come <laughs> yeah you have to choose the the least uh, between the two evil so i think yeah. that yeah um, having boulder up there it was mostly grand thanks to gwendoline uh, pushing him forward where i really need it and that was the point where you start running away with Joanna because you realize that uh, having her trying attacking him it will only slow down your game. It would, uh, wouldn't grant you any chance to then uh, follow up when you mostly need it. But having him in the middle, it ended up uh, sucking away energy from Gradoc and Air at the same time. And that was uh, really game changing, mostly for the gnome, obviously for me. But uh, in terms of gnomes, something that you want to, that you are aware for sure after this game is the fact that they really need any single energy in order yes. to do any single step that they can afford to do or uh, the abilities that they have in that yeah, sense. Yeah, but it's absolutely. You saw that one time I chose to use uh, two precious energy from Loki to move um, Boulder out of the cluster um, to move him away and get him out of engagement um, so that potentially Joanna could run and then also so he wasn't sucking the energy out of the entire group. <laughs> yeah, so. and that cost me four energy in order to get back because I wasn't expecting for the bunny to come back, but you did use the bunny uh, wisely. And in that sense, yeah. it's something that I think is going to help you out a lot, even in other games with other models. Just remember that bunnies are there as a distraction, first and foremost. If they do that, they, they do their job properly. That's it. That's right. They're the anti-jog. <laughs> yeah yeah blocking attack well thanks again man um thank you so much kevin for the time and the patience to bo um, get along with the fact that uh, you weren't able to see properly the the, uh, the energy and such but we've been able to keep track of that and um, i hope that you get something uh, useful uh, now for your uh, event this uh, saturday out of those gnomes today yeah so looking forward to it i, I kind of was thankful that i had the opportunity to actually play the gnomes like this versus just showing up and saying, all right, um, I'm going to try this today for the very first time. <laughs> so. I think it's going to be fine anyway.
But yeah, better better having a game uh, on your shoulders rather than nothing. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, you want to wrap up the stream and um, yeah, probably I will, have to. I will simply thanks uh, whoever, uh, all everyone uh, at home that was watching the game, and uh, whoever is gonna watch it later. I hope that you enjoy it as much as we did planning it, as it was a very close game up up to the very end. Uh, the last activation and the last turn with the last card flipped. And uh, if anything, we will catch up soon. Bye bye.